Hi to everybody today I'm here to tell you about the Japanese fashion with my friends Natalie Chavez and Gabriel Mosquera and me Nicola Sanchez. Well the main topic of our project is to show how Japanese used to dress and how they have been influenced and the influence that they have left from world culture. And we also want to show and explain the meaning of every cloth used by Japanese between the 6th to the 17th century. And explain the difference between the old and the new way of clothing. And so, why Japan? The reason why we choose Japan and its different fashion is because this is a country that throughout the story has shown many different culture and influences and many different beliefs that are reflected in the way that they dress. We also want to explain the meaning of the clothes and how they have changed throughout the time and the difference between the ancient and the modern times. We want to explain how Japanese fashion has been changing across the times and how it came to the actual kind of dressing that they have. So, to start, there are some topics that indicate that prior to the 4th century, Japanese fashion sense became to growing up. They used to wear lengths of clothes that hung from the shoulder to the legs. And this kind of clothing was really basic but was found in other, in other parts of the world, like in Peru and in Indonesia, and then in Rome and Greece. It, it was known as Hakama for the men and Mo for the women. After, during the Asuka and Nara periods, Buddhist and Chinese culture was introduced to Japan. So, the people of the Imperial Court start to show really strong influence for those cultures. Well, to continue we find the Heian period. Uh, here we can see that there is still a strong Chinese uh, influence and it was reflected in the way that they dress. Uh, we can see in the picture that men use a new kind of clothing known as sokutai. It was worn only by the aristocrats and the members of the court. And the women used a highly, highly complex attire and it was worn only by the ladies of the court. For the next time, we ha have the Kamamura and Muromachi periods. During this age, the samurai class, the warrior, began to rise. So in that, and became new kinds of clothing. And as we can see at the pictures, uh, the men used a uh, uh, kind of clothing known as carigino. It was worn only by the aristocrats and the more and the members of the court. This was um, originally dressed for the nobles. And the women used a um, simple attire that wore in the ordinary occasions, but in the most in the most formal occasions, women have to use a uh, extremely dress known as uchikake, and this was worn only for the most important events like the weddings. And this cloth uh, was used too for the brides. And to end this part, we find the least time period, the Edo. And during this period, samurais and aristocrats wear outfits known as kamishimo, a formal dress for different formal occasions. But in the ordinary occasions, men and women used to wear kosodes and hakama. During this period, uh, people start dressing very simple and people of Japan gradually stop using complex dress and by the end of the Edo, Japanese people start to adopt uh, some topics of Occidental culture. 
Okay, so talking about the years, well, the first one is 1980s. Uh, here you can see some Jordi Yamamoto's designs, but what I'm going to talk about him later. So now, this period of time is called the bubble economy because, well, the economy in Japan in that time was really unstable. So, well, that's the name. Here you can find the, a boom called the DC Burango, that means a designer and character brand. Well, the other half of this year was a, well, the fashion broke in two directions. The first one, the body con. Uh, that means body conscious. And well, that fashion uh, highlights the natural lines of the body. And the second one is the shibukaki. Uh, uh, that fashion was really used in high school and university and well, the basic concept of that fashion was simplicity and durability. So, uh, the main designer of this is Joji Yamamoto. He was born a uh, 3rd October of 1943, he studied law at first, uh, but then he continued to, uh, his studies in fashion design at uh, Bunka Gakumi Fukusu. Well, his fashion is known because of the dark color. Uh, his fashion is known as a post-atomic fashion. Uh, first, he started to make uh, clothes only for, for women, but now he, well, he makes clothes for male. Uh, and he became famous in Paris and London. Okay, so the second one is Rui Kawakura. She was born the 11th of October 1942. She was the founder of Combe Garçon and she studied a Bachelor of Arts at the University of Kiwa in Tokyo. Well, in 1969, well, she found the Combe Garçon. In 19 Seventy-five, she opened her first boutique in Tokyo, and in 1978, when well, she started to make uh, make clothes, she is known uh, also because of the dark colored clothes, as you can see here. Okay. So, the second time or second year is in 1990s. So, well, here you can see some image of a uh, Isin Jackie's designs. Uh, but well, here in this period, uh, you can see that is there is not a clear view for the future. I mean, there's a coexistence of many kinds of styles, but there's not a really trendy one. So there are a lot of fashions, but there's not a really important one. But uh, the most the most known uh, fashion is the where we fashion conscious uh, people that use this fashion. Uh, well, used to use a uh, long dyeing brown hair, darkly toned skin, mini skirts, and loosened bike socks, and all the things like that. So, uh, the main designer of the 1990s is Isin Yak. Uh, well, he was born in the 22 April 1938. And, well, the main characteristic of his fashion is that he makes the design and the technology in his clothes. So, uh, in 1969, he moved to Paris, and he finished uh, his studies in the Ecole de la Chambre Syndicale de la Culture Parisienne and well after that he became really famous uh, well in Paris uh, but after that uh, he started to make also perfumes the first one was called the Le Desi uh, in 1992 and after that the second one was the same fragrance but it was for the men so the name is Le Desi Touran uh, that's in 1994. So, and the last one is the 2000. So, the difference between the ancient fashion and the modern fashion is well that before clothes were really, really cheap and there was, there was mass produced. So, well, the quality of the clothes were, wasn't really good. So, Nowadays, the, the clothes are really expensive, first of all, and well, they are with a really high quality. And well, nowadays, that's called the fast fashion in Japan. So, Japanese fashion have grown around the world. That's because uh, Japanese people started to open some clothes around, around over the world, and that uh, improved the economy of the Japanese market. So, as Japanese people have uh, opened a lot of shops uh, in many countries, 
well, the influence of these shops uh, is really big because, well, uh, people in, well, an example here in Colombia, people is using a lot of Japanese clothes, uh, especially the the modern uh, fashions that are used in Japan, but they are like tree, uh, urban trees, and, well, the most known now is the kawaii, and people is using that, uh, and that's the influence that, uh, that Japan has given to the world. It's not only here in Colombia, it's all over the world, so urban trips are, are going to be explained right now. Okay, following with information, I'm going to talk about the Japanese urban trips. The first one is the color. Uh, they combine the red and pink, white and orange colors. They used the extravagant hairstyle. Uh, also, uh, extravagant makeup and extravagant accessories. The second one is lolitas and tacos. Uh, this take the manga and anime style. This is the manga and anime style. Okay, the third one is this one. Okay, and they guys uh, use a uh, black colors and bright colors and use the extravagant hue still. Another is Hiaru. Um, they take the TV magazine and Hip hop style. Uh, according to the skin, uh, the first one is kangaroo. The skin contrasted with the fear. Uh, the second one is kangaroo. Is a uh, dark skin. And the third one is Janjiro. It's a uh, white skin. According to the way of dress, this is like a girl, and uh, they take the Hawaiian style. And this is the sport girl, and they take the sport style. This is big girl, and they take. The hip hop and hip hop style. This is punk beta. And they combine the black colors with bright colors and also the hip hop style. This is Hime Hiaru. And this is the Kawaii style. And this is the most beautiful in the Japanese culture. And this is Rasuta Giharu. And this is like the red, yellow, green colors. And this is the Hamaika state. Okay, this is the J pop. And the influence Kawaii take this. And you can see that it is very extravagant. Uh, okay. Uh, for the conclusions, 
the Japanese culture has been changing through the age according to their needs and the Middle East influence. This is the Japanese culture. Okay. A Japanese market. Uh, the economy depends on how trending is the current fashion and uh, another is the urban trips uh, are really extroverted and following the TV fashion. Thanks.